What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I can set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? Let's keep things relaxed. Certainly, Commander. I'll ensure music remains at an appropriate volume and arrange for some refreshments. I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Happy to be here, Shepard. <laughs> nice ink. But you got a long way to go to catch up. Nah, I just got this when I lost my squad a few years ago. Hey, what's the story behind that? And how far down does it go? Tactful, as always. What? I'm just wondering. I like tattoos. Hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? <laughs> great so far. This is really nice. It's great. Quiet. After the excitement of the mission, it's a good quiet, right? But if it got a little crazier, I'd be okay with that. Relax. The night is young. I like it like this. You got it, boss. I'm just happy to be kicking back. So, what happened after that? I remember that. Hey, James. Having fun? I'm relaxed. But fun? I think my kindergarten graduation was more fun than this. Very funny. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. You know if that waterfall is warm water or cold? You know why Cerberus is gonna lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. And sure, they paid, but you ever bring up vacation time? There was a brick wall. That reminds me, I heard you're going to be a father. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Be lying if I said I wasn't scared. You'll do great. You're a protector. That goes a long way. How about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinner, shaking hands, kissing babes. I think the expression you want is kissing babies. I know what I said. You know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when you two ran things. Excuse me? <laughs> the only thing I was in charge of was the Lazarus Project, which, you will note, was very successful. Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? It's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the Geth, who then got loose and killed all our guys. They did rack up quite a body count. At least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad, but the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything. And we were doing good work. And crunches. Lots of crunches. Hey, not okay, Kasumi. But we did bring Commander Shepard back. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, crap. You people watching tonight, Edie? Participant observation. That sounds less friendly. It's actually quite the opposite. Hey, Commander. Weird to see everybody here together. You think? Well, weird, but good. Nice to know it's not always arm wrestling reapers with us. Anyway, thanks for putting it together. I'll try not to be too embarrassing. 
Thanks for inviting me, Shepard. It's nice to see you like this. How do you like the new crew? You always attract the best. Have fun. You bet I will. I can't get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas mechs. Always one in one. Or put an air conditioner in this suit. You have no idea how hot it gets. So, Shepard, keeping the hard liquor under lock and key? Otherwise, I'd have to drive you all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Stealing the Normandy? Now there's an idea. Wait. What? Who? Trainer, you still have your toothbrush? We can always get another Normandy. Call up Cerberus and ask them to please build us the SR-3. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR3. It's Vos Normandy. Even I get confused by Quarian names sometimes. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have. Indeed. Here, here. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. And to falling in love with the ship's captain. Hi. I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Not much for big parties? Well, if I know people, sure. But some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they've tried the hummus. This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this. As friends. Of course, if you wanted to steal me away later, I wouldn't say no. I must admit, I still feel like something of an outsider. You all have such a history with Shepard. It's mostly a lot of running and shooting, and usually somewhere in there a button needs pushing, but Shepard always hogs that part. Yes, a history of close calls, narrow escapes, and more near-death encounters than I care to remember. By that measure, Shepard would have made a good Justicar. I remember first meeting Shepard. All I kept thinking was, I hope he took a shower, because my filter needs replacing, and humans carry a lot of germs. And three years later, you're eating his food. I'd call that progress. Protein gatherings were nothing like this. We considered the future and respected the dead. Sounds boring. There's usually more yelling and cursing at any gatherings I go to. Yeah. Get a bunch of Krogan together and things always get fun. And probably broken. That sounds more like it. You're right. These things are better when you have redundant systems and natural plate armor. Can't argue with that. So who is strongest, you or the tank bread? Yeah, I'm plenty curious myself. What'd I miss? The Prothean here wants to know who would win in a fight between me and Rex. You gotta admit, Shepard, it's a good question. It is a good question. No, it isn't. Baby Pijak here wouldn't stand a chance. Don't listen to this fossil. The only thing he could defeat is a glass of warm milk. Ha! Ah! I got head lice bigger than you, Junior. Yep, ever since I huh. We should leave these two lovebirds alone. Let's not. I'd rather not buy new furniture. Reminds me of Cora's den. Haven't been back there in a while. I wonder if there's anything stronger behind the bar. Too many things to break in here. Could be a fun party. What kind of music is this? That's nah, not that club crap, is it? My family makes wine. I know what I'm talking about. In my cycle, too many people in one room risk a high casualty rate if attacked. We should all be careful. 
Fifty thousand years from now, no one will remember this party. What is the point? Beware. Something called a Kasumi is on the premises. It pretends to be invisible. Foolish primitive. Nothing escapes these eyes. This is quite the apartment. Seriously, you see that waterfall? And that hot tub looks like something I might want to check out later. Without you. And this was Admiral Anderson's place? <laughs> in my dreams, I have a place just like this, overlooking the Pacific. I could never live in a place like this. I'd worry about breaking the furniture. I, think we need another I must admit, I still feel like something of an outsider. You all have such a history with Shepard. It's mostly a lot of running and shooting, and usually somewhere in there a button needs pushing, but Shepard always hogs that part. Yes, a history of close calls, narrow escapes, and more near-death encounters than I care to remember. By that measure, Shepard would have made a good Justicar. I remember first meeting Shepard. All I kept thinking... But you have no plans after Edie? Someone more... Human? Uh, no. She's smart, she's funny, and she's into spaceships. You know what you want. I can respect that. So, how's that going? A hundred Vulture. Sure. Better if I could shoot some kind of death ray out of my bad eye here. Yeah, that would be awesome. Your guests appear to be enjoying this relaxed atmosphere. Would you like me to keep everything at its current intensity? This is nice. Let's keep things laid back. Yes, Commander. Drink! I'm drinking! But it's not a drinking game. Afraid to lose? Shepard. Grunt. Shepard. Rex. Commander Shepard. Shepard, Shepard, Shepard. Rex. Grunt. Shepard. 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 Grunt. Shepard. Rex. Commander Shepard. Shepard, Shepard, Shepard. Rex? Grunt? Shepard. Shepard! Protheans can read the smallest details of our environment. Tattooed human, I would like to touch you. <laughs> I'm not nearly drunk enough for that. You then, shuttle pilot. How about you? Um, why is Javik getting all touchy-feely? Hey, collector-looking asshole. Maybe go touch yourself. That does not happen until the end of the party. <laughs> Commander! Javik? Apologies. I have been drinking the provided drinks. Sure. Uh, you might want to tap the brakes a little. Everyone having a good time? Will there be food available soon? You're hungry, Edie? No. However, my research suggests that serving intoxicants without nourishment is considered unwise. I can eat. In my cycle, we had food. Many of them. Varieties. You feeling okay? I am Prothea. I never feel okay. Though this drink is changing now. 
Know what I could go for? Fish and chips. Greasy, salty, crispy, flaky, melt in your mouth. Yes, that. Let's get that. Shall I arrange some fish and chips, Shepard? Steve, is that your favorite? Actually, I'm a dessert guy. My aunt used to make this chocolate lava bomb cake. When I first escaped from Cerberus, I found these chocolate chip cookies at a store. <sighs> Ripped through the whole damn thing. Nothing in this cycle compares to the food of my people. Maybe you should get cooking then, Javik. Most of our ingredients are extinct. Except Krogan. Sarin, Durian, Varian, and Quarry. Is there any we could spare? Hope you don't feel left out, Edie. Do not worry. I've been employing a socialization protocol feature that came with this unit. It is called Smile and Nod. Okay, I'll see about arranging more food then. You know, forget food. This bar is impressive. Let's crack open this bad boy and see what we can come up with. Beverages. More would be preferable to not. Sure, help yourself to the bar. But I'd steer clear of the creme de menthe if I were you. Oh my god, you ain't kidding. <laughs> that stuff will make you sicker than pure wrinkle. Whew, trust me. Shit, it is disgusting. Nice party. And relax a bit yourself, okay? We'll see. So, talking about food at a party, like, for fun. Lord. Is there a place I can go light something on fire? The fireplace is right there. Eh, it's not the same. How about that one? On the arm there? Got that taking some knives off a gang of drunk Batarians. They figured they could stop me from collecting the bounty on their boss. Idiots. So... This one's from two Krogan that had a problem with me running Arlac Company. They learned to live with it. Turns out only one of them had to. <laughs> You're all right, grunt. Money. actually what it sounds like there is a lot more space now but if you move further up it's more of a tuk, 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 tuk. <laughs> a what you have to imagine my arms are the wings <laughs> of course over by the med bay exactly what are you guys talking about tally was acting out the differences between the original normandy and the sr2 Acting. I may have recorded it. And that recording may already have six million extra net hits and a fan site. You better hope I never find you. Yeah, but which one's better? The SR2 is harder to perform. Does that make it better or worse? The SR1 was a decent ship, but the SR2 gave the Normandy a fresh start. It made it something truly great. Just look at what it accomplished. The SR2 made a good ship better. The original Normandy was developed by the Turian Council and the Alliance. It's a symbol of cooperation between members of the galactic community. And we wouldn't be where we are now without it. We wouldn't have the SR2 if it hadn't been for the original Normandy. I'll never forget the time we spent on that ship. It meant a lot. It meant a lot to me, too. Yeah. Uh, so guys... How about that whole clone thing? That was weird, right? Shoom. Shoom. You know what I'm talking about? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, 
This place is a goddamn joke. Sight lines aren't bad. One point in its favor, and I'm supposed to be impressed. And what the hell is this supposed to be? I... I think... It's... Art. Oh. Hmm. Art, eh? Okay, I see now. Sure. Art. I like it. What are you guys doing over here? Looking at this poor excuse of an apartment, that's what. What's wrong with it? What would you do if another one of your clones broke in here, eh? Offer them a cup of tea? Ah, there are too many windows, and they're, they're too big. Makes it easy for someone to track your movement. But it's got potential. Be easy to set up a defensible position over there. I'd extend a wall out, prevent someone sticking you in the back. Mmm, 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 good idea, mmm. Wish I could have done that back in the day on Omega. Why don't you two relax and enjoy the party? The apartment's fine. Fine? Huh. Suppose tomorrow it's Liara's clone that comes after you, mm. Or Joker's. Yeah, him. Twitchy little guy. Might already be a clone. An evil one at that. All right. Have fun. Shepard, you moved the Normandy's main battery into here, and I think I'm home. <laughs> so, Edie said you found her voice attractive. Well, actually, she said the word you used was like, Ugh! or something. Uh, that was when I thought she was a VI. Anyway, you'd just better treat her right, Moreau. Uh, oh, oh, somebody jealous? I think you had a better shot when she looked like a holographic chess piece trainer. I wouldn't have said chess piece precisely. But listen, the point is, you hate AIs. You had to overcome all your hang-ups, whereas I was totally fine with AIs to begin with. Other fish in the sea trainer. Not with that voice. It's like feeling smoky satin slide across your skin in soft candlelight. Just. Mm. Wait, are you two arguing over Edie? No. Probably not. You know, she smashed my head against the side of a shuttle. I know, twice. I heard it from Liara. That was, like, forever ago. Plus, it wasn't Edie back then. It's really unfair of you to even bring it up. You're right. I'm not even sure what made me think of it. Apology accepted. You know, it's not healthy to just bottle these things up. The hell is up? Still creepy, Kasumi. Well, I'm glad you two were drunk enough to finally deal with this. Oh, we weren't planning to deal with it. We're just happy giving each other shit. We can call Edie over, and you can discuss your feelings like mature adults. What? No. That would be weird. Just... just no. You don't think she knows? You guys, she's the Normandy AI. She sees every extranet site you browse. Note to self, delete browser history. I can show you how to set up an automated task for that. Hey! <laughs> Need me to do anything? Uh, food run, change the music, check on ice. I need you to relax and have a good time. Okay, you're the boss. Uh, hey, maybe I'll cook something. Caden, just relax. I heard the footfall, and I knew that it was you, Shepard. Not enjoying the party, Samara? Oh yes, Shepard, I am. Although not in the same way as the others, perhaps. Are you worried about me? Don't be. I only stepped away for a moment to use the restroom. And then I found this quiet corner. Reflecting on one's place in the universe while a party rages within reach can feel oddly self-affirming. Meditating isn't often considered party behavior. Perhaps. I don't attend many parties, to be honest. Then I'm flattered. 
Your influence in my life causes me to be drawn to you, no doubt. Know that as long as I am able, I will come to you whenever you call. Always. Thank you. Now get back out there and have some fun. I will. I promise. How many bedrooms does this place have? It is so pleasant here. Sitting by oneself and listening to the enjoyment of others can be quite calming. So, Caden, I've never had the nerve to ask. The hair, man, is that product or are you just naturally that, uh, whatever that is? Actually, it's because of static electricity. Biotics build up a charge the same way a ship does during FTL. The L3 implants minimize the effects, but with the L2s, it can be pretty painful. Wow, I was just screwing with you. Now I'm that asshole. What about over there? It would work if there wasn't a point of entry right there. Mm. So, we barricade it off. Maybe install a tripwire. You're a genius, Vakarian, I swear it. Hey, no touching, asshole. I mean no harm, tattooed human. I have read you. You don't need to read me. Just ask and I'll tell you exactly what I think. Yes, this is what I have read. Shepard. The first Normandy brought us all together. I don't know where I'd be without it. You would probably still be stuck inside that Prothean energy ball. What? When Shepard first met Liara, she was trapped inside it. What was it again? It was a Prothean security device. I hid something I wasn't supposed to. I'll act it out. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. I'm in the bubble. <laughs> That's funny. No, it isn't. The party appears to be a success, Commander. Do you require anything further? People were talking about mixing drinks. Why don't you join Edie at the bar? Certainly, Commander. My knack for precise measurements may prove useful. You think? Then the better. Tough to spot. Yeah, a five by five grid across the glass should do the trick. Oh, we'll do more than that. All right, Garrus, I gotta know. What are you doing? Hmm. Oh, nothing. Just uh, admiring the polish on this glass. Try me. Oh, it's just... Well, one man's decorative glass wall fixture is another man's explosive glass wall fixture. <laughs> oh, f Now you're in for it. Explosive? Microfilaments, Shepard. Tiny strips of explosives laid across the glass in a grid. It's your first line of defense. When an intruder enters, hit the switch and... Boom! Just ready to pieces. Weaponized war fixture, Shepard. Wave of the future in home defense. No uh-huh. Trust me, if I had this back on Omega in my Archangel days, there'd be even more dead mercs. If you say so, just try not to scratch the finish. Tally, are you okay? Yep. You want to see my tattoo? I don't think you have a tattoo, Tally. So 
hologram. Omni tattoo. Omni tat. Omni two. <laughs> Under the suit. You know, for me. You want to know what it is? You wanna know? It's a pretty bird made of rainbows. It is flying out of the eye hole of a skull, being held in the mouth of a thresher maw with a naked woman holding a sword on its back. Because I'm hardcore, like Ezo. Jack suggested it. Remind me to talk to Jack in the morning. Where'd you get the Omni tattoo anyway? Down in the lower wards, near the bottom. I meant where on your body. So did I. <laughs> yeah, I heard that one from Liara. Get some rest, Tally. You sure you're okay, Tally? Fine. Suit doesn't let me get overly intoxic. Intox? Drunk. Just have it all flushed out in a minute. <laughs> Omni two. It just smells like sweat. Why would you even ask that? Don't do that in my helmet. It just gunks up the filters. No, that gets broken down with mass effect fields. Those are just my hips. Go for the optics, Chatika. Oh, Mr. Vakarian, I could use some help with my suit seals. You're bluffing. Don't be so sure. I got a pretty good poker face. I can tell when someone is hiding something from me. Right. Anyway, now we put our cards on the table. It is foolish to reveal secrets to the enemy. It's part of the game, and we're not enemies. Hey, you want me to deal you in on the next one? I bet you'd be good at this. No. See, that right there. Perfect poker face. What are you talking about? You're still doing it. Commander, can you believe Doc's never played poker? How are the lessons going? The Asari still refuses to take risks. Victory does not come without cost. You're not even playing. Doc's not much of a gambler. Be glad we are not participating in one of the games from my cycle. You would all lose horribly. Aw, oh, be nice to Liara. You're going to have your hands full with me anyway. Adios. How long have you been there? Well, my willingness to gamble aside, this has been a wonderful evening, Shepard. Glad you guys are having fun. It's nice to see people relax and let their guards down. I'll try not to take advantage. Time spent being idle? Do you fear the crew will grow soft, Commander? I think everyone could use the break. This from the Asari who buries herself in studying Protheans day and night. Good to know bickering like an old married couple has not changed since your cycle. Enjoy your game, guys. And I'd keep an eye on Liara if I were you. Give me a few more rounds and you might not have anything left to wager. Now this game is getting more interesting. Doesn't have to be fancy. Shepard specifically requested more drinks. Are you certain you were up to the challenge? Absolutely. Really? Doesn't have to be fancy. Trust me, Edie. I worked at a bar to pay for university. I thought you had a full scholarship. The scholarship didn't cover spa sessions and beauty supplies. Or really expensive toothbrushes. Exactly. I might not know dancing or crazy stunts, but fancy drinks are right in my wheelhouse. Oh, just wanted something to drink.
Everybody okay? Specialist trainer is preparing drinks. I had no idea you knew how. Try me. How about a quad kicker? Spiced rum, bourbon, ginger ale, no curry powder, I'm allergic. I read about something called a tasty tankard. Irish cream, coconut rum, iced chocolate, and butterscotch schnapps, if Shepard has it. Ever hear of a full biotic kick? Huh, who hasn't? Bourbon, Tuchanka dry, twist of orange, and ginger beer to fill. Impressive. I almost wish I could experience intoxication. Well, let me make you something. Maybe a mix of fruit juice, vodka, cognac, white wine, and blue thessia. Interesting. Now, if you'll excuse me, Liara needs a shadow brocatini, no lime. Garrus asked for a dextro heat sink. Someone named Kasumi wants something called a memory stealer. Jack asked for a mix of vodka, whiskey, bourbon, and any energy drink I can find. Miranda is unhappy because her glass of perfection calls for strawberry liqueur, which we don't have. And Tali just wants anything she can drink through a straw. Glad to see you have things well in hand. You keep it pretty quiet, Shepard. Nobody has punched me yet. Not that I'd recommend it. Good to see the old gang again. Liara's looking good. I mean, <laughs> you know... I haven't fallen down yet. Time to step this up! I'll give that. You're a great pilot. The best, but go on. All I'm saying is that when it comes to shuttles, I got your beat. I think you said so yourself. Ooh, shuttles. Only slightly less cool than dropping from the Normandy into Mako. And I bet you couldn't handle the Normandy. <laughs> Didn't you get the first one blown up? So the first Normandy kind of evaporated. I liked that one. There were some tough fights back then. Those were battles to remember. A maniac running loose. Geth putting people on spikes. What was that rogue Spectre Saren like? Oh, totally crazy. Walked around like a marauder, glowing eyes and everything. And yet the Council still didn't believe Shepard. Hey, did I ever tell you about the time I saved the Normandy single-handed? Yeah, right. It's true. For sure. I was there. I'll vouch for him. Collectors boarded the Normandy. I only had a minute to come up with something to take him down. So you unshackled an AI. Always a good plan. I don't hear anyone complaining about Edie now. <laughs> you wouldn't complain. At least now you might get laid. We're losing focus. Edie wasn't a robot back then. And when the Collectors took over, she was still shackled. So it was me, saving the Normandy by myself. Single-handed. Yes, you did. Good man. Wonderful party, Shepard. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Glad you came. Strange to see everyone in one place. Perfect, really. When you're finished playing host, come find me. You won't regret it. My turn to watch you sleep. I never watched you sleep. Liar. <laughs> Got me. Hmm. Hmm. I'd heard the stories about the Normandy's crew before, but when you put it all together, defeating rogue specters, facing the collectors, and now the war, it's pretty crazy stuff. Yeah, all things considered, you'd think the Normandy crew would have a much higher turnover rate. Hmm. The plants probably won't survive. Plants are overrated. You can always get oxygen from a tank. Damn, this is good. You sure this doesn't have any ring call in it? Positive. And you're welcome. 
Can I get another in a bigger cup? Maybe one of the flower pots? It, uh, might take a while to get that many ingredients. Aww. So what's that drink you gave me? The frozen pie jack? Hey, the next one's for me. She promised. Oh, I shouldn't tell. Trade secret. We would be extremely grateful. Oh, fine. You usually make a frozen pie jack for the loud customers. Every few hours you empty your spill pad into a martini glass and add some ice. Et voila. That's what I just drank? What was in there? Damned if I know. It's best not to look. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Seriously, though, I called the next one. So, what games did you play in your cycle? Good question. You don't exactly strike me as Mr. Playful. There was one game. It has no name in your language. Three teams met in the arena. Their strength, agility, loyalty. All were tested. The winners were honored, while those that lost... You didn't... uh... sacrifice the losers, did you? Your cycle allows them to live? Um... well... <laughs> I will never tire of tricking the primitives. That is a game I enjoy playing. I've got a blue wire here, a red one, a yellow one, and one that looks like vomit. Describe the vomit one. Purplish, like after too many shots of wrinkle. Yeah, that's the one you want. Cross it with the blue one, and you're good. Heh <laughs> won't be saying the same for the fool who stumbles into this. What are you up to now, Zaid? Next time another clone of yours tries stealing your life, we'll have a nice little surprise rigged for them. Isn't that right, Garrus? Spare no expense. So, in walks your clone, takes a look around, sees this great hot tub, and says to themselves, Hey, I fancy a dip. Big mistake. Huge. The minute they put so much as a toe in the water, a timer starts counting down. To what? Oh, my fucking Geddon. 30 seconds later, this baby heats right up. And then what? You ever swim a few laps on the surface of the sun? No. Well, your clone will be. <laughs> That'll teach him. But what if I want to use the hot tub? Cover that. It's key to your DNA. Yeah. But a clone would have the same DNA as me. God damned clone. So, Garris, scratch the hot tub. I've got a few ideas about that coffee maker downstairs, though. <laughs> yes. I'm surprised you came tonight. Why is that? I thought Justicars had to be out fighting evil 24-7. That's true. And so how do you know that I am not, Jeff? Fighting evil right now? Because we're all friends and... Wait, she's messing with me, right? <laughs> It sure is good to see everyone again. We don't get this on Tommy, though. Well, I can't tell you get it. Shepard? So, what do we do now, Zaid? I'm telling you the kitchen's a gold mine of possibilities. Another clone drops by my fancy a bite to eat. Break the refrigerator. I stop there. Who says a kitchen faucet's just for water? Cyanide's a liquid too, you know. Aren't you the one who wanted me to bet more? You're quite determined when you want something, aren't you? You know, Liara, if you're ever looking for a new line of work, I bet we could have all sorts of fun. What about me? 
I usually work with people who are a bit more uh, subtle. Hey, I can be subtle. Are you whistling? I'll check for more snacks when I get a chance. Thanks. When you get around to it. No rush. The SR2 has been through a lot. And it'll see us through a lot more. I wouldn't change my name for just any ship. I thought the Admiralty Board changed your name. Yes, but in hindsight, I might have considered it. Sure. Edie mentioned she may want to cook something. Why don't you join her? Of course. I am sure we will be capable of approximating an organic palate between the two of us. <laughs> Is it done yet? The recipe calls for more curry. No, that's... that's too much. The recipe is very specific. I have measured the proper volume to the nearest milligram. Is it done now? Yeah, you have to go with your feelings when you cook. You can't just stick to the recipe. If we do not follow the recipe, we risk creating something that tastes offensive. Edie, the recipe was made by organics. It's never gonna be exact, and that's a lot of curry. Trainer, back me up on this, huh? Oh, so I'm supposed to be the expert on curry. Just went right there, did you? Um, I just meant that you're a human. With taste buds. I don't even like curry. I have an allergy. Are you gonna be done soon, or do I need to go eat a keeper? Everybody okay? The entertainment efficiency of the party was falling due to inadequate food supplies. Ouch. Do not be concerned. I am compensating. I just wanted her to heat something up. Now she's cooking. With a vengeance. Edie, I appreciate the help, but parties aren't about efficiency. A party is a collective event among like-minded individuals. It requires teamwork and an understanding of group dynamics. You did not pass through the Omega-4 relay to assault the collector base without preparation. Why should this be any different? Because it's a party. Nobody's gonna die if we do it wrong. I'm really hungry, Shepard. But if you were to ask a team member to select the music and you chose Jeff, the results would be disastrous. I would never choose Jeff for the music. No, I should do music. I can handle mingling. You would be a popular choice for mingling, but it would be one which would unexpectedly lead to failure. Excuse me? You can sometimes be judgmental. It ruins the mood. I'll hold the line at the snack table. Agreed. You see, Shepard? A party is a social construct that can be designed for maximum efficiency. Well, good luck with that. Bring him back alive, Edie. You keep it pretty quiet, Shepard. Nobody has punched me yet. Not that I'd recommend it. Wow, these are actually good. Nicely done, Edie. Will your curry allergy prove problematic, specialist trainer? Um, I'll be a little sick later. It happens. You should have substituted coriander and cumin. What? What are you looking at? Did you enjoy the taste of the appetizers, Grunt? Maybe. I just shoved a whole plateful into my mouth. How many bedrooms does this place have? You know, 20 years from now, this could be worth a fortune. What are you doing? Classy and expensive. Is this real leather? It feels like real leather. You should really upgrade the security. Occupied.
Oh, I really need to avoid dairy. 